Good morning on this Monday morning, October 5th, 2020, St. John's Mugwanago, a morning devotion. Good to be here with you today. For devotion, we'll follow uh, from the Christian Worship Supplement, our meditation on our Christian calling. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. You are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For all who are of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all who is over all and through all and in all. You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. Let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. As we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. Whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Scripture lesson today from Romans chapter 13, verses 8 to 14. Romans chapter 13 is a section there where the Apostle Paul talks about the governing authorities. Uh, and, and following that, speaking of the, the governing authorities, that, that, that law there, he gets in these words um, from Romans 13, verse 8. Owe no one anything except to love each other. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. He just mentioned how you owe taxes, taxes, you owe revenue, revenue, you owe respect, you owe respect. And then he kind of says, owe no one anything. Perhaps that would, that would shock them to hear, don't owe, you, don't have to owe, you don't owe anybody anything except love. And love. That's, that's God's command um, for us to, to love God. And then we speak of how we love God by loving others, by loving neighbor, all those around us, loving neighbor, and as and as Paul Paul mentioned there, that that fulfills um, fulfills the law. If you think of the 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 task that that God lays upon us, then um, of fulfilling the law, the the difficulty of those things, but the wonderful comfort we have of of the perfect substitute, the perfect Savior, who who came in and, and loved perfectly for us, who, who, who loved his heavenly Father, um, who loved his neighbor perfectly. And, and, and through that then, God says to us who, who believe in him, it's different for you. You, you have that life. You have that, that love, that, that, that holiness covering you. That's you. Now what does this look like? What do you do in this? Yeah, you go and you love. And, and you love neighbor, you love those around you. Um, you, you, you follow those commandments. That's why we still teach and walk through the commandments with, with the little ones. Um, from early on, we walk through those commandments. Um, not a, not to, to, to force and to threaten. Well, that's certainly there with the, the, the commandments. It's always there as to sinners, the law of God. But just say, these are the wonderful things God gives for us. And, and this is where God's saying, you know, this is what we do. This is what we do. We, we go out and we love and we serve. We obey his commands. Uh, tremendous comfort that gives to us. Tremendous peace that gives to us. Uh, this is the fulfilling of, of the law that God's given to us. And this is what we do as his children. Um, as we walk in our, in our callings. right? Our, our devotion, the meditation, our callings. Um, those responses from scripture. Um, also give us comfort of, of the callings we have, that where we're at in life, where we're called to serve in life, 
uh, that we have the neighbors there at, at, at work and in our homes, all those, all those ones we have around us that we love. Well, we love them, you know. Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Therefore, love is a fulfilling of the law. And God bless us as we continue to serve um, in love. Um, love and thanks for God for what he's done for us. And love and thanks for those he brings into our life. Amen. I'll read a section from our table of duties. Um, in our small catechism. This is a section on um, employees. Obey your earthly masters with respect and fear and with sincerity of heart, just as you would obey Christ. Obey them not only to win their favor when their eye is on you, but like slaves of Christ doing the will of God from your heart. Serve wholeheartedly as if you were serving the Lord, not men, because you know that the Lord will reward everyone for whatever good he does. Continue with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you a spirit of unity among yourselves as you follow Christ Jesus, so that with one heart and mouth you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. A couple of things to, to mention. Uh, this week, uh, Wednesday evening, 7.30 p.m., our prayer at the close of day service, a um, half-hour service of meditation and quietness, um, kind of taken away um, Time set aside, um, those evenings to, to meditate upon God's goodness for us, His promises for us. So Wednesday evening, 7.30 p.m., uh, morning prayer. God's blessings on the day.